Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and because today is Christmas Eve, I am not going to do a recipe video. Instead, what I'm going to do is cover a topic that I covered in one of my podcasts pre-Thanksgiving, which is how to navigate the holidays when you're on keto. Now, this period that we're about to go through this next week or so is just ripe with opportunities to fall off the keto wagon, and I want to try and help you from doing that. Now, I know that some of you have fantastic discipline and will have no issues staying keto throughout this holiday period. I, however, can be a little weak sometimes, so I need whatever tips or tricks that I can use to try and keep me on the keto wagon. The first of which is, if you are going to somebody else's place, a family gathering, a Christmas party, whatever it is, tip number one, have a little something to eat before you go. Have just some bacon and eggs, something like that, some nice high fat, decent protein, something that will keep you satisfied and keep you from having the munchies the moment you show up at a party. Tip number two, hit those appetizers. So if there are appetizers, generally there are going to be some keto-friendly appetizers. Some of the ones that just are off the top of my head, bacon wrapped water chestnuts, uh, cheese and meat trays, shrimp cocktail, taco dip, minus the chips, vegetable trays, so whether that's raw broccoli or cauliflower, mushrooms, celery, and then generally you've got some sort of a dip that you can dip this in. Not only will filling up on appetizers keep your cravings down and allow you to maybe push away that bun or those potatoes when dinner rolls around, it also provides a good excuse when dessert rolls around. You can fall back on that, oh man, I'd love to have some of that, but I really hit those appetizers awfully hard. I, I couldn't eat another bite. Additionally, if someone's trying to push some dinner rolls on you or some mashed potatoes or something else, you know, really carby, you can always say, listen, I don't want to fill up on that stuff. I really, really love this, insert whatever the protein is, and I want to give that all my attention. This allows you to not only kind of push away those carby things, but also provide a little compliment to the host or hostess. If you decide that you are going to break keto, my recommendation is pick the one meal, not a, not a cheat day. And actually, I don't even like the term cheat because cheating is something you do to gain an advantage. And when you go off of keto, you're not giving yourself any sort of an advantage. It's, I think the only person you're cheating is yourself. But I prefer to call it like going off keto, going off plan, whatever, but not a cheat day. So if you decide that your plan is to go off plan, to go off keto, my recommendation is pick a single meal. Better yet, just pick dessert. Just say, I'm gonna stay keto throughout everything and I'll, I'll have some of that pecan pie. That's probably the best way to go if you're gonna break keto or a meal, but don't say that you're gonna break it for a day. It's just, it's not worth it. In fact, it's probably not worth it at all breaking keto. Mike Tyson had a quote, everybody has a plan till they get punched in the face. And it's possible that even though you're going into a Christmas party or family celebration with a plan, you're going to fall off the wagon. It's possible. It happens. It happens to all of us. If you do, I would say don't beat yourself up. You're already going to feel like crap. I mean, it's kind of a, a carbohydrate hangover to me is worse than an alcohol hangover because it's just a whole body thing. Mentally, you're foggy. You, you feel achy, so depending on what you eat, you may wind up eating something that causes inflammation, so you know your joints ache, your knees ache, your back aches. You're just going to feel like crap, probably, for at least a day, maybe longer. So don't compound that by beating yourself up. You're human. You can get back onto keto, and you can do it quickly. My two strategies generally when I go off of keto to get back on really fast are either fasting, just a complete fast, uh, water, tea, unsweetened uh, black coffee for probably 36 to 48 hours and I am back solidly into optimal ketosis. So above a 1.5 on my ketone meter. The other option you have if you're not into the fasting thing, I would go pure carnivore for two to three days. Maybe just call it the beef, bacon, butter, and eggs fast if you want to. But those are two of the quickest ways i found to get back into ketosis. What you don't want to do, and I'm begging you, don't do this for your sake. 
don't fall off the wagon and then use that as an excuse for the next week. You know, tell yourself, well, you know, why not just live a little? I'm going to ride this out, eat some carbs between now and New Year's, and on January 1st, I'll get back on plan. Don't do that. Trust me, it's, it's not worth it. It's not worth the way you're going to feel. And it is so much more difficult to establish a good habit and maintain a good habit after you've broken it. So stay strong. So now to turn this into a little bit of a Christmas special, I'm going to share with you a clip from 10 years ago. I think it was actually recorded 10 years ago today of me and Courtney playing Jingle Bells. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas from Sirius Keto, and thanks for watching.